Cabin with my wife, she would want that extra space comfort. It's a very, very spacious car. You guys might watch my, my videos and YouTube videos that I do, and alhamdulillah, I think you know what? I probably made that money from there. Not really, because for about five, six years, I didn't make a penny of YouTube. How I managed to get it and what I did. No multi marketing schemes, pyramid scheme, ACNs, none of that. You guys, follow me, let's check this car out. Enjoy all of your favourites from Gifto's Lahore Karahi in the comfort of your home with just a click or a call. That's not all. We now offer free delivery for all orders over £100. Delivery available within a 10-mile radius with a £5 minimum charge for the first five miles and an additional £1.50 per mile thereafter. Enjoy a good day with a great meal at Gifto's. Okay. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brothers and sisters and dear friends. A lot of you guys are thinking, What's this car doing behind me? Well, we're going to come to that, brothers and sisters. Now, this is a total different video that you'll ever see on my channel. It's a whole different side to me. I'm going to be talking about my success story, how I made it. Now, brothers and sisters, what you see behind me is a £105,000 Range Rover car specced up. I want you guys to follow me. I'm going to tell you guys a bit about this car that I got, how I managed to get it and what I did. No multi-marketing schemes, pyramid scheme, ACNs, none of that. You guys, follow me. Let's check this car out. Bang! Yep, that's right. Red interior. One of my favourite colours, brothers and sisters. Jump in, what are you waiting? Come on, jump in. Brothers and sisters, Range Rover is one of my dream cars. I've always wanted an S-Class or a Range Rover. Red interior. What we're going to do is we're going to test drive this car and tell you guys a bit about it. What I have on my watch here, if any of you guys have noticed, is a Hublot 15. 15 thousand pounds one five one five brothers and sisters check this out now brothers and sisters a lot of people go about things the haram way yeah i'm going to tell you guys how to make it in the halal way inshallah yeah it's not that hard and the way people make it seem it's impossible i need to go do drugs and none of that none of that at all yeah guys a lot of you guys might watch my, my videos and youtube videos that i do and alhamdulillah i think you know what i probably made that money from there not really because for about five, six years, I didn't make a penny of YouTube. And a lot of you guys might be watching this, you know, be it brothers or sisters and thinking, yo, how, how did you make it? And how comes all of a sudden you're coming out with it? Brothers and sisters, when, if I've done th certain things the right way to get this car, then you can do it. There's nothing special about me. If I can do it, you can do it. If I have a 15 grand watch on my hand, if I can do it, you can do it. It's not that hard. We shouldn't be limited minded thinking to ourselves, bro, oh, how are we going to do that? It's not that hard, bro. I'm going to take you guys through it. I'm going to take you guys through it, how I got this car, yeah? And before I do that, though, I just want to tell you guys, brothers and sisters, inshallah, alhamdulillah, one thing that I like about Range Rovers, like, I like S-Class as well. I could have gone for that option if I wanted to get that, yeah? I could have, but with the Range Rover, alhamdulillah, is that it's different driving up here. You get what I'm trying to say? I'm not trying to sound arrogant. So, alhamdulillah, and the touch is absolutely beautiful, smooth. You've got two big screens, and red, like I said before, is one of my favorite interior colors white color white color car with red interior is something that i've always wanted and alhamdulillah you can see um, yes it's a big car you're going to be paying a lot of money on tax um, and if it's a diesel it's peak but between 2019 range alhamdulillah it's better you're better off it's, it's you know it's more economic yeah so it's up to euro six standards um, it's a beautiful car back is absolutely spacious and one thing that i specifically got when i asked is the, um, at the back seats, you've got the, the I think they're nine, ten, 11 inch screens, alhamdulillah. So if you have kids, you're married, boom, just put the kids to sleep, inshallah. They can watch that. You want to go out for a nice drive with the wife, you know, alhamdulillah. If I'm driving with my wife, she would want that extra space comfort. It's a very, very spacious car, you know. For me specifically, me and my wife, were, you know, we're quite torn. So alhamdulillah, it's absolutely beautiful. We've got digital screen right in front of me. The marble touch on the steering wheel is absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. And not only that, the um, the touches that I have here at the bottom that I have on the steering wheel, alhamdulillah, I've driven, I've driven different cars before, uh, but this one is absolutely smooth and brilliant. It's, it's, it's much, much better because I've been in certain Range Rovers before as well. Not only that, you can see right here on this side, as you can see, I can adjust my sta um, my uh, seat from here, the back, everything. Look at this, check this out. This is absolutely epic, man. This is a beautiful car and I believe I've, I've, I've deserved it. I believe I've deserved it um, because I've worked really hard for it. 
inshallah. Now what we're gonna do, brothers and sisters, we're gonna go to Musa because Musa's waiting for him. We're gonna go pick him up, inshallah, and we're going to give a little reminder on this, inshallah, because it's very important for brothers and sisters out there that are watching that might not have the means to buy a car like this, you know. Um, we're gonna give a little reminder so everyone can benefit from it, inshallah, and we can talk about how to go about things in a halal way, you know. If I can do it, you guys can do it. And we're gonna discuss this with Musa as well because Musa's was involved uh, of me getting this car as well inshallah we're going to talk about that inshallah so let's check it out inshallah do keep tuned in inshallah because we've got some amazing amazing surprises for you guys inshallah Here's Musa. Assalamu alaikum, Aki. Yes. What's going on? May Allah bless you. How are you doing? I mean, that's good here. Things? Yeah, good, alhamdulillah. Not bad. Um, Aki, I think this belongs to your friend. May Allah bless him. Amin. Preserve him. Barakallah feek. You can give that to him. Brothers and sisters, if you're suffering from mental illness, depression, suicide, you're going to be thinking, what the hell is going on, Brother Ali? Brother Ali, you're jumping into a range of a 105 grand car. You've just given a watch that doesn't even belong to you. This car here is a Toyota Prius. Yes, as you guys can see. This is the car that I drive for my day-to-day -day living. Now you're going to say, oh, Brother Ali, here we go again with the clickbait. Hold on. Musa, is it going to be worth the wait? Definitely. Follow us. Definitely. We're going to explain why. We're going to explain why. Follow us. Oh, okay. Musa, welcome to the car that I got. Yes. Not bought, I said got. Got it. Yes, I got it. Yeah. Got it. Eagle chauffeurs, may Allah bless them, inshallah. They arranged this car for us to be driven. Now, we're going to get straight into it, brothers and sisters. Before you guys start bugging out, clickbait, there is a very specific purpose we're doing this video. We've traveled outside London to find a specific place, went through all this hassle to bring this video to you guys, but there's a specific reason why. Now, Musa, when I spoke to you on the phone yesterday when I wanted to do the video, mm. I was very passionate. If you heard it from my voice, because I was very, very frustrated. The reason why I was frustrated, Aki, is because I see a lot of people claiming freedom, like saying, okay, you know what, look, I'm, I'm free, I can do whatever I want, etc. And I'm thinking to myself, really? Like, are you really free? Like, I, I'm genuinely looking and thinking to myself, are you really free? And then I look back into my lifestyle before Aki, yeah? Aki, I would want to drive cars like this, yeah? And by the way, let's make it very clear, there is nothing wrong with driving cars like this. Nobody saying it's haram which we're going to come to. That's not what this is about. This is not what this is about, brothers and sisters. We have so many social influencers, which we're not going to name, we don't need to name, it's no point, that they're doing all kinds of stuff. Some of them are personally struggling. struggling. However, brothers and sisters, when they come and give you a specific, specific lifestyle, which they may themselves not even own or have, but when they rub it in your face, the question that needs to be asked is, what do you, what do you get out of doing that? What is the purpose of doing that? Now, if I genuinely own this car, and if I had the means to own this car, I would. There's nothing wrong with that. Don't get it twisted. As long as you're giving us the car and helping the people, etc., there is nothing wrong with owning a nice car or a nice watch. The point is not that. As long as you're carrying money in your hand and not in your heart. But what's happening today, Musa, and correct me if I'm wrong, we're having a lot of youngsters falling into depression, suicide, self-doubt, sisters doubting, oh, should I wear my hijab? I don't know, I need to look this way, social pressures, brothers going doing drugs, etc. Why? Because I want to drive nice cars, because that's what people are looking for, yeah? Is that your phone? Okay, so that's what people are looking for. And I'm thinking to myself, wow, if people can pretend, pretend that they own cars that they don't, drive for a perception on a video I'm thinking wow if that is not the biggest enslavement and slavery of invisible shackles that we have that we don't see well why I don't know what it is bro mm. and a lot of you guys that are watching this you may have thought some of you guys might watch this and say you know what look at this guy evil hazard you know and subhanallah I don't even own the car yeah. the watch that this is this is actually a 15 grand watch that our brother owns may Allah bless him he works hard if he deserves there is nothing wrong with that the point is, as social influencers, we have responsibilities. If I have this car, I'm not going to flash it in your face. Because why do I need to? And a lot of you youngsters that are watching this, brothers and sisters, Wallahi, let me be honest with you, Musa. If you had this kind of watch in your hand, and you were driving this kind of car, what's the possibility if you were to propose to a sister that they'll be saying no? 
<laughs> right, let's be real. No, let's be real, Aki. We're having a real talk here. No, sisters uh, are going to go for you. Why? Go why? Go you. Do they care about... Like, let's suppose you're not, you're not even dressing up like this, yeah? yeah. You're dressed up like me, yeah? Okay. Yeah, exactly. The point is, imagine, bro, the respect you will have. You know what the thing is, Ali, yeah? Everyone wants happiness in their life. Yeah. Everyone wants to feel happy. And from a young age, the society that we live in, and we live in a, in a, in a, in a global society, so it doesn't even matter if you're from a third world country, you still, you've still got the internet, you're, you're looking at all of these things online, you're looking at all of these musicians and, and movies mm. and whatnot, and all of these mediums of, 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 of media, right? Yeah. And you see these people who, are, who, who look successful to you, yeah. you know, the, the epitome of success. You see these people and they've got watches like this, they've got cars like this. Yeah. So what you do is subsequently you equate success and happiness with these items yes do you understand yeah so i would even go as far as to say can you blame a sister for falling for that sometimes you may not be able to do you know why mm. because her image of happiness lies in these things and the thing is it's very very sad because when you do have these things you know you actually realize hang on a second it's not all about these things and if you were to meet people i'll give you an example now this watch you know, it's actually ten thousand pounds. Oh, Still, I don't think it makes a difference to people yeah, yeah. whether it's fifteen thousand pounds, yeah. ten thousand pounds, etc. Yeah. Right? Yeah, carry on, carry on. Yeah. It's it's a very very expensive watch now. Yeah. Yeah. The brother who gave this watch to me, I just called him. He's a good friend of mine. Yeah. I called him, and I said, Afi, I need to borrow your watch. Yeah. You know, can you give it to me, etc. Yeah. He gave me the watch to borrow, and we're using it for this video now. Yeah. But he wasn't attached with the watch in that way. And that's oh, something... Yeah. Do you know what? One thing I yeah. noticed, yeah? You know when we got the watch? Yes. I said, Aki, if it gets lost, I'm not taking the responsibility. He said, Aki, don't worry. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. whoa. Because if yeah. that was me, if I had that kind of money, I'm not going to give that. Yes. And this is the thing, bro. And I was speaking to the brother from Eagle Chauffeurs, because uh, we came, I, I came in this car. Yeah. And one of the things I was speaking to him about is that these people, Aki, Allah, He puts a love in the people for these type of people mm. who are like this. Yeah. And it reminded me of a hadith yeah. that the Prophet ﷺ said, Izhad fi dunya yuhibbuk Allah. That if you have zuhad, detachment from the dunya, Allah will love you. Wazhad fi ma inda nas yuhibbuk an nas. That have zuhad, be detached from what is with the people, the people will love you. It's a hadith of the Prophet ﷺ. That if you're detached from these things, of the dunya, of what people have, you know, cars and, you know, shoes and watches and whatnot, people will love you. People will love you for that. And when this brother gave me this, I loved him more for that. When I see brothers like the brothers from, you know, Eagle Chauffeurs and they're driving these very, very nice cars, but at the same time, they're willing, you know, to give their cars out for that one, all of these things, yeah. you love them. So the point is, this all stems from an image of happiness that people have. They think if they have this, they're going to be happy. And not only that, bro, now, we can speak about the sisters, you know, impression that they have, etc. But there are brothers out there killing other brothers for this, bro. There are brothers out there yeah. killing mans on the road for postcodes and drugs yeah. for, to drive, to have this lifestyle. So it's not even a matter of influence and it just makes you depressed a bit. You're out there killing believers. The Prophet ﷺ said a believer's blood is more dear than the Kaaba to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Brothers and sisters, this even ties into marriage, Aki. Yeah, this even ties into marriage that people are influenced, for example, by the impression. So, for example, if a brother looks a certain way, acts a certain way, sister wears a hijab or niqab, oh, that's it. And that's why it's so sad that we attach ourselves to influencers that if they were supposed to take the hijab off, sisters, we, even the brothers start bugging up. And I thought to myself, hold on a second, what the hell are we really bugging about? about? Yes, okay, it's sad. May Allah make it easy. But the point here is this. We have attached ourselves to outer exterior things, bro. Aesthetics and materialism. Yeah. So much so that it comes from, to, from the people that we take knowledge to. He looks the part. He has books behind him. He says, Yani, Shirk, Bida, Muptadi. He knows what he's talking about. If he's, for example, driving a car, this, that, bro, this guy's making money. Is it halal, haram? You don't know. You don't care. Nah, if he's making it, he's making it. When it comes to even marriage, okay. Oh, if that sister's dressing up in this way or that way or brother looks like that, he must be right for you. How do you know? I'm going to mention four verses for you in the Quran, which I find absolutely profound. And I'll, I use this to develop people into a little business that I'm starting. I'm going to launch, inshallah, very soon this year because it ties into the marriage problem, Aki. Why? Because again, Allah says in the Quran, 
which uh, I can't, I don't know the memories, uh, the verse off by heart, but I'll put it on the screen, brothers and sisters, yeah? Uh, I'm trying to memorize those verses, but I've memorized them here. But the thing is, brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks in four specific parts. Allah says in the Quran that we have sent the clothing to cover your shame. But indeed, the clothing of taqwa is more like beloved. Mm. Number one. Number two, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Baqarah that it is not righteousness and piety is not turning your face to the east or the west. Okay, good. Another verse in the Quran, I think it's in Surah Hajj, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, it is not the slaughtering of the animal, it's not the flesh or the blood that reaches Allah, but it is the taqwa. Mm. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about the munafikun and the munafikin, and they're talking about the mas uh, uh, masjid, um, uh, what's it called? The masjid, uh, the masjid dirar. And Allah is saying it is more uh, beloved, like it's more better that you go and worship in the masjid of taqwa. Mm. So now let's check this out. From the clothes that you wear, to the, fate, to the, to the, to the uh, uh, direction that you face, to the animal that you slaughter, to the place that you worship. Allah is talking about taqwa, 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 taqwa. Taqwa, is, that's what Allah talking Allah saying, look, the flesh and blood doesn't reach me. The clothing is good, but inner taqwa is important. Righteous is not facing right, left or right. The masjid of taqwa is more deserving of a place to be worshipped. Brothers and sisters, how many of us get affected, subhanAllah, that when we look at somebody's inner taqwa, like for example, why is it that when it's an outer garment, it's all superficial? Yeah. And brothers and sisters, you're looking at these lifestyle of these public figures, wallahi. Most of them, you don't even know that very sister who's putting that pictures of everything looks amazing, they're on holiday, you're thinking they're in Jannah. Wallahi, you don't even know if she is getting abused by her husband, if she's getting you beat by her husband yeah. and she's covering up with makeup. Don't and th you don't this, know. this point is a very, very important point that I wanted to touch upon. And, uh, and this is one of the reasons I wanted, one of the things I wanted to speak about in this yeah. video is that brothers and sisters when you see people online take what, what you see with a pinch of salt Hatta even when you see scholars yes. when you see shuyukh online take that with a pinch of salt yes. what do I mean now? take the knowledge with a pinch of salt? no, you benefit from the knowledge what I'm saying is your perceptions mm -hmm. your perceptions of people because here's the thing Ali yeah? Yeah. we both have social medias yeah. Yeah? have you ever made a video crying on social media? No. When, when, when you're in a depressed state yeah, and, and since I've known you in the years that I've known you have you not been in states like that? I've been in very bad states Of course you have and, and I have as well yes. and many other people have as well yeah. and all of the teachers you look up to and even yeah. the shuyukh that you look up to yeah. they have down times and they have up times yes. but here's the thing now when you're going through a down time it's not a natural reaction to get the camera out and say guys I'm going through a mm, down time exactly. that's not sellable it's not marketable. It doesn't help you. It's bad for your marketing. Exactly. It looks bad on you. But, yeah. Yes. People, people say, wait, hang on, that guy's depressed. Mm. What? You know, this guy, that guy crying on camera. What? Yeah. Why is he doing that for? Mm. What? That that guy's insecure about his 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 body. Mm. What? Why is he insecure about his body? Mm. What not? And how is insecurity seen as a positive thing? No, it's seen no, as it's a negative thing. Yes. Yeah. So that sister that you're looking at, for example, for the sisters, and she puts herself off as very very perfect and whatnot. How do you know she's not extremely insecure? Yeah. Extremely insecure yeah, exactly. about her body, about her face, about yeah. etc. So what I'm saying is all of these things, you have to take them with a pinch of salt and you have to realize even about yourself, your own social media now, let's talk about your own social media. Mm. You're not a public figure. So you don't really have this repertoire and this kind of uh, reputation to keep up to. Mm -hmm. You don't have that. Yeah. But you yourself, let me ask you a question now. You've just had an argument with your dad. Your dad's really, really angry with you. You've just had an argument with your wife. Your wife is swearing at you. Are you going to vlog that and put that on YouTube? But see, this is, this is you're the thing. You're not going to do that. No, we wouldn't. If you're not going to do that, if yes. you're not going to do that, are we going to do that? Of course we're not going to do that. Mm. And this is the thing that we're talking about here. You know, when we talk about some of the earlier generations, Ali, yeah. the earlier generations, and even if we talk about amongst the Sahaba, yeah. we know some of the mistakes that they made. Yes. And I'm not saying that, and this is an important clarification mm. to say, oh, the Sahaba are like this, da, da. no, 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 mm. no, 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 don't, don't misconstrue what I'm trying to say here. What I'm trying to say is, these people, Akhi, they made mistakes. Yeah. And the Prophet Sallallahu reprimanded them and corrected them for their mistakes. Yeah. But they were not written off if they made a mistake. Exactly. The earlier generations, they made mistakes. Mm. Scholars earlier, mm. they made mistakes, yeah. right? But you know what the difference is between us yeah. and them? Yeah. We know about their mistakes. Yes. You know, today, no one knows our mistakes. Exactly. But do you see this is the point and where we want, we wanted to break that trend. So the whole reason I went to my car, I'm driving a Toyota Prius. I do Uber. Yeah, I do Uber. Now, I put that out there for a variety of reasons. Yeah. Number one, to smash this perception because some people are going to pick up that, like, bro, you do Uber. I go, yeah. 
Yeah, like, like, why are you doing Uber for? You're a YouTuber, you've got 400,000 subscribers, bro, the guy is shocked. He's thinking, like, Aki, there was one guy who was going through some kind of depression, yeah? I spoke to him, he goes, bro, do you really do Uber? I go, yeah, Aki. It's as if, not in a bad way, he, there was some kind of ease on his heart. The fact that I'm going through a struggle. Yeah. Brothers and sisters, I have no shame. I'm an Uber driver. If you're earning a halal income, Toyota Prius, brother, my Toyota Prius, Hamdan has got a reverse camera like this car. It might not be as crisp, but I can still still see. It takes me from A to B. It's comfortable. Brothers and sisters, you do might not get not married be because of it, but you know. Look, Alhamdulillah, you know what? <laughs> My wife accepted me with that. Yeah, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, brothers and sisters, this is what we're talking about. I would rather do that than marry somebody that see me driving this car. And then when I go broke, because let me tell you something. I'm looking at the tafsir of Surah Yusuf. Musa alayhi salam, Musa alayhi salam started off as a baby in the kingdom of Firaun. He ended up as a what? Shepherd. Yusuf alayhi salam started off as... Well, with his brothers learning how to be a shepherd and ended up in the kingdom of a well, they weren't pharaohs at those times, a ruler, king. Yeah, okay. Look where your position can be, it can change today. You're driving this tomorrow, your position can change. Look at a person's taqwa, look at them for who they are, not what they have because what they have can go. So, we're here to break that trend. Do not look at social influences, don't look at us and think our lifestyles are this. Trust me, most of them are fake. I'm telling you, I'm an Uber driver. What do you mean? Uh, it's, I think Ali is very, very important to clarify here. Yes. When we say fake, what does that mean here? Okay. That means that means yeah, that when you see, for example, and this look, unfortunately, we have yeah. to be very real. Yeah. There may be some people watching this that listen to music. Yeah. They see some of these rappers and whatnot. Yeah, actually, these rappers, yeah. right? They're from uh, council estates, yeah, etc. Yeah. And I'm not saying that that's bad. Yeah, yeah? Yeah. No, they brag about that. Yeah, 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 that yeah. I grew up in the slum and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. Akhi, are you telling me that that... You're still in the slum. Yeah, and, they, and, and they're doing this. Yeah. He, they, it's this guy's first video. Yeah. How is it he's got Ferrari in his first video? Yeah, Where yeah. did this money yeah. randomly come from? Yeah, yeah. He's got a hublot in his first video yeah, like this yeah. one. Yeah. Where did that money come from, yeah. Akhi? Yeah. You have to understand with these industries, there's a concept where it's called fake it till you make it. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Who, uh, who, until you, until who, you, who, who was that rapper who was caught? What was his name? Uh, Bow Wow Challenge. Bow Wow. Yeah, it was. A yeah, Bow he wow got rapper, caught. Yeah. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, this is enslavement. I'm gonna wrap it up with this. Brothers and sisters, anybody, if you're watching this and you're in this psychological state where you're thinking you have to prove yourself, be you a hijabi, taking your hijab off, looking a certain way, acting a certain way, be your brother doing drugs or this, that, whatever, you are literally enslaved. You are literally enslaved. That you're being forced to do things that you don't even want you're to do. Enslaved to the perception. You are you're... enslaved to your society. Yeah. I'm so sorry. It's as simple as that. Break those shackles because I gained my freedom. The peace, alhamdulillah, I have in my heart. And may Allah subhanahu give it to all of you guys. You can put me in kingdoms and fortresses and cars and Rolls Royces, whatever. Brother, that peace is not going to be given. And this is it's something not that, that simple. Sheikh Al Islam ibn Taymiyyah, you know, he expressed that what can they do to me? And yeah. we know Sheikh Al Islam yeah. was imprisoned. Yeah. He went through a lot. Let's finish with that know. statement. And and he said that what can they do to me? You know, this is what he expressed. He said, What can they do to me? You know, I have peace in my heart. You know, I have found that content and contentment in my heart. Yeah. These people they can't do anything to me. Yeah. And that's what you have to understand, brothers and sisters, that success is not in what the eye sees, the cars and whatnot. And we're not saying that to be cliche here. Yeah. We're saying the dunya has got its place. Yes. We love things of the dunya. Yeah. You do as well. And I do as well. Of course. And we own things of the dunya. Yeah. I like certain things that I own. Bro, I'm and you, I love if them. I, if I had the means, yeah? I would buy this car. Maybe not this much no. money. Yeah? But and, I would. But the point is And this. I would love it. Yes. But how would I love it? Yes. I would love it in a, in, a, in, a, in a... I would put it in its position. Yes. I would put it in my hand, not in my heart. And this is something that we need to understand. And I'll leave it with a quote. It's a very beautiful book that um, I'm currently reading. Uh, it's uh, by Sister Yasmin Mujahid. It's called oh, Reclaim. It's, it's called <laughs> Reclaim Your Heart. It's brilliant. Yeah, brilliant. and she speaks about yeah. an amazing. She gives an, an amazing, an amazing analogy, and she gives the analogy of the ocean. The ocean has water in it, my dear brothers and sisters. The the boat, the vessel that is on the ocean, that is floating. It's floating. The ocean is the dunya, and it is literally an ocean. Women, cars, watches, jewels. Uh, all of the glasses and all of the designer things you can get, design of Versace, Gucci, Fendi shoes and all of these things. That's, that's the ocean. And you are the boat. And your heart is inside the boat. What the sister gives in the analogy is, if the boat allows for all of that ocean to come on board and to, you know, get into the boat and whatnot, what's going to happen to that boat? Sink. It's going to sink, it's going to capsize and it's going to be khalas, right? 
But what the boat does is it accepts the dunya, it accepts the ocean and it glides on top of it. It, it, stay, it floats, it stays in its place. So with the dunya, my dear brothers and sisters, keep it in its place. Don't put it in your heart. Don't make it your identification for success. That's not what success is about. And I mean, we've come to a stage, Ali, where even non-Muslims are realizing this. Yeah. With, with movements like minimalism, exactly. and, and, and which, which is pretty much, you know, very similar to Zuhud, and with movements like, you know, uh, uh, Stoicism and these sort of philosophies that people are talking exactly. about. So exactly. brothers and sisters, Allah told you this, you know, 1400 years ago, you know, you don't need, you know, any uh, exactly. YouTuber to tell you this. So well, that's sisters. what I'll say. Thank you. Peace out. You're just going to leave me here.